subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. The hottest and latest WWE news and rumors. Like and subscribe. Is disaster about to hit the WWE? Is Tony Khan about to lure away one of WWE's biggest superstars of all time? Because Tony Khan right now, it's a little bit sour grapes. He's a little bit mad. He's a little bit furiated. Tony Khan shares that The Undertaker and John Cena for not, he shades them. He's shading John Cena and The Undertaker for not pulling enough viewers for WWE NXT. Now, Tony Khan, bro, again, why doesn't just Tony Khan and AEW worry about themselves? Why do they have to continually bring up the WWE? Ever since Tony Khan lost the Tuesday Night War, if you want to call it that, ever since he was dominated and decimated, all Tony Khan has been doing is ranting and raving about Vince, about Triple H, about Shawn Michaels, about John Cena, about about The Undertaker. AEW, Tony Khan, worry about yourselves. But that's not the biggest thing here, guys, because listen to this one. Please become a channel member today. Donate to below. Follow me on Twitter. I am very active on Twitter with my viewers, my fans, and my subscribers. But it's very important to leave comments on this video. But ladies and gentlemen, in a shock development, in a shocking update, the, 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 you know, it's no secret that Tony Khan is infuriated. He is mad. He is jealous. But listen to this one, guys. There is a rumor going out there that Tony Khan is going to try to lure away the Viper, Randy Orton. There's a lot of rumors. Again, this is a rumor, and we do talk rumors here, and if you don't like that, well, then I don't know what to tell you. But there is a hot rumor going out there, and I don't know how, again, we do do rumor killers because if the rumor t tends to not be true, we do talk about it here. We come on here, we update it. But imagine if Randy Orton went to the AEW, to the competition. Randy Orton, in, the, in his entire career, He's never went to Impact Wrestling. He's never went to ROH. He's never went to uh, any other promote NJPW. Randy Orton has always been faithful to the WWE. But can you imagine what it would be like if Randy Orton went to AEW? We didn't. We never thought in a million years that Edge would go to AEW. We never thought that would happen. But it's happened, and it did go down. Imagine rated RKO in AEW. Now, again, there's a lot of rumors and speculation that, that Tony Khan is so upset and so mad at the WWE that he's going to try to lure away some of the WWE's most biggest sub superstars of all time. Now, that might be a stretch. That might be a stretch, viewers. But that's not all because we got a lot of rumors and news and headlines to cover. And Tony Khan is just burying himself. He's making himself look bad. It's just not a good look. Also, yes... Braun Strowman spends time with Bray Wyatt's kids amidst his injury hiatus. So, yes, Braun Strowman is ready to come back to the WWE. Also, a major legend is going to step back into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, woo! The nature boy, Ric Flair, styling and profiling. Ric Flair looking to make a return to the ring? No, we don't want to see that, no. You know, Ric Flair would make a good manager. You know what the WWE needs to bring back? They need to bring back managers, by God. And yes, WWE moving to a new night. We talked about this earlier. WWE Raw moving to a new night and a new time slot. Would you like to see Raw in a new time slot and a new day? No. I want to see Raw go back to two hours. That's what I want to see. What about you guys? It's all about your thoughts, your comments. Remember to share this video on Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, ladies and gentlemen, The Rock's daughter, Ava, drops a cryptic comic about Paul Heyman's meeting. You're going to wonder, is Ava, The Rock's daughter, going to join the bloodline? Also, Finn Balor takes aim at Adam Copeland after NXT BAEW Dynamite. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, Bray Wyatt's hidden talent disclosed after his passing. Also, Bray Wyatt, even though he's gone and dead, sadly, unfortunately, untimely. Bray Wyatt, the WWE are still going to go with a Bray Wyatt-esque storyline. They're still going to try to deliver uh, something to do with Bray Wyatt, even though he's not there. So we are going to see the continuation of that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Jade Cargill has now linked up with Paul Heyman. What in the world is going on there, ladies and gentlemen? Also, we got breaking news coming out of the WWE. This one, this one, I almost couldn't believe it, guys. Th this one. Who is going to be the next challenger? Who's, who's going to make a return to challenge Roman Reigns? Well, it looks like 
None other than the mega superstar himself, the mega icon himself, Logan Paul wants to once again go one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns. Do you want to see that? Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions, and do you think Randy Orton is going to go to AEW? Would you want to see Randy Orton in AEW? Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions, and would it be more shocking than Edge signing with AEW? Subscribe.